Justin Timberlake yeah. got a DUI in the Hamptons. He had one of the most professionally lit mug shots I've ever seen. <laughs> he looked great. Just but bring my, people in. my problem with it is Gail King went on her morning show and said, oh, it's a mistake. He's a really good guy. You know, what do you mean it's Wait a minute. mistake? Did, like, didn't they find what was in his bloodstream? Now I heard something about that. What well, was Ooh, it? I don't know. Because it was driving under the influence or while it. It was DWI, not DUI. Mm, right. So no, I know. That's what I'm saying. They found yeah, some stuff something. in his bloodstream. They found drugs, actually. Really? Yeah. That would make sense. So she's saying it's a mistake just because he's such a great guy. That do is we not think a mistake. That Justin Timberlake doesn't do drugs. Do we think that? Is, are we that I don't naive know. as a human species? Like, well, hey. he's a fucking rock star. They used to break. He's deep. never, like, he hangs out with rap, like, he smokes weed. I don't think that's a. Yeah. No, oh. but you probably shouldn't operate a vehicle. <laughs> Depends on the drug. I mean, you're Some putting people, people in danger. In the Hamptons? In the Hamptons. Oh, cocaina. Yeah. I don't think none of those. Oh. I don't think none so, of those. So, yeah, that's are. what they're saying. See, they're saying no that. No one was at danger. He was super alert. No, <laughs> no. What they found in his system was Molly and Coke mm. and poppers. Mm. In this system. Fuck is a popper? Like, I, uh, I have no idea what that was. Pop rocks? Like jalapeno poppers? <laughs> That's a rave <laughs> drug? Yeah, poppers. they found that in his bloodstream. So yeah. when she goes off and says he's a really great guy, responsible he's a guy. responsible guy. Yeah. First yeah. of all, where are we going with the antics that you're with now that responsible people and respectable drugs. people don't? have fun or do rave no, no. drugs Being or Being responsible, or... you can do all the drugs you want. But when you drive and do drugs, now you're endangering other people's lives. We can't consider that person a responsible person. That's ridiculous. They literally are jeopardizing everyone's life out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's not true? You live in California where every single person drives high. So your life is... No, 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 no. Everybody, everybody doesn't. Out. I don't, I don't drive don't. high. <laughs> okay. Like I said, the minority of people in here <laughs> Might be speaking always, about their, yourself, always yeah. takes their own <laughs> things into consideration. You know what I mean? Coke, but, though, I don't. So you think driving under the influence is okay? I don't have the whole story. I'm just saying, are, is Justin Tim like the worst guy in the world because he got a no, DWI? No, nobody said no. he was the worst man in the I world. I don't know. We're Seems saying like that Justin you're not responsible. What made, that's, that's fair. What would make Gail King... Stick up for this That's, man. There you go. Because yeah. she goes hard on black dudes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what would make her go? Yeah, she so destroyed lighter. R. Kelly in that interview. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, R. That. Kelly was trapping women in his house. <laughs> Justin, Timberlake <laughs> did co <laughs> Justin Timberlake did cocaine. And no, 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 no. No, she didn't mention anything about what was in his system. Is part that's the part that we that we said, hey, yeah, that's not cool. Yeah, at least say everything. Know, at least say everything about. It. Now we're not saying R. Kelly is right, so you don't need to go down that path. We're just saying, you hey, said R. Kelly. I feel I like they paid her. No, I, you no, said R. Kelly. No, you I brought, bring up R. Kelly. No, you, you said R. Kelly. But you start bringing up all the stuff that he was being you accused can't of. Compare trapping motherfucking bitches to taking cocaine. But she, the didn't, same. she didn't mention it. But what would make her? <laughs> that's not cool. What would Let's make mention her? all the faults. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. How many times have you heard her stick up for anybody? I've never heard her stick up for anybody. Ever. What would make her do? I feel like Oprah. they paid her to do this. Is Oprah or Kale invested in it? Wildly. What would make her stick up for Justin Timberlake? Who knows? Well, random. It's Where definitely was he on coming CBS from? Morning Show. And she Where was just he said coming he's from? He's not an irresponsible, reckless, or careless type of person. It's clearly a mistake. What do you mean, Gail? He he. What he got behind the? She's saying it's clearly a mistake he made that night. I don't think she's saying like it's a mistake. He wasn't under the influence. She's not saying it was a mistake in his life at this moment, and she knows him to be a responsible person. Uh huh. I don't know. Does she know him? I don't know. She. I feel like she does. This is, seems personal. I don't yeah, know. I would agree with that. It does seem personal. For her to step up like that. This is so. Would you not? If I got a DUI, would I'm you be like? I'm behind you 100, <laughs> okay. Josh. Huh? All right. So would that mean that you don't 
care as much for black people as you do for sticking up for white people and you got paid by conspiracy theories to say that my white ass was not like that's where we go with with the thoughts in this country to me and that's a real big fucking problem that I wow. have or we have like everything gets put into this place of black and white and racism and I mean because that's, what, that's what's being implied right that she she downgrades black men and then held up a white man that's what no what's be I want to know why she's speaking up for Justin Timberlake oh, who been, cares I who, did you ever care about I anything care. she's ever said no I, 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 mean, I, I never said, even heard any shit she ever said I in care. my life I care what, she has the, a huge platform <laughs> well what what has Justin Timberlake ever said to, about her I don't know so why would she, I'm just I just want to know what the connection is is all well why does there have to be a connection that's what I mean Maybe she just thinks she's. He a just good. wants to know why. You think people why? Just, that's not, why I'm she decided to, why to do we speak go? up on Justin Timberlake's behalf? That's fair. Like I'm curious why, because yeah. I've never heard her do that for anyone else. Why? You know how many motherfuckers have died from police brutality? I've never heard her say. <laughs> <laughs> the police shouldn't have choked that guy out. But that was wrong. When she spoke up for Justin, I just want to so know why. Now you're telling her how and what she should say and feel. No, which is I, a, now I, I have a problem with what we do in this country. Is like, who gives a fuck what she said or how she feels or how she says well, it? Well, you know what? Travis Topically. Scott was also arrested in Miami for intoxication and disorderly conduct. Let's see. What she said about Travis. <laughs> yeah, let's see if she speak up for him. She said, does Travis go to her dinners or like does Travis go to her charities or does know. Travis do things like you know what I mean? Like how I the fuck know. do we know who it Because look, when somebody speaks publicly, like a person of her caliber, there's an agenda. She has too many smart people around her just to say something like that. I feel like it's guided. Who know? Maybe Justin's going to run for president. I don't know. Justin was about to yeah. go on tour. He was heard uttering under his voice, "This going to fuck up the tour." Really? Mm. Oh, so I'm wow. sure he's got his publicity people out trying to do shit, but I don't think it's some big conspiracy. I don't think drugs are going to fuck up his tour. I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, if he was still <laughs> Disney age, maybe, but... Yeah, but who do you think goes to Justin Timberlake concerts? You? People our age? Me? Yeah, he's past the 12 and 13-year-olds. It's people our age. I don't know. And yeah, they've grown he's, up with yeah. him. He's a Smokey Robinson Wait, of white people. Does he even have a song out? He has no, a song. It's been 20 years. Uh, he has a whole album he, out yeah, this year. Yeah, he put a newer album out this year. What's the other white guy that sounds like a black guy when he sings? Robin Thicke. Yeah, him and Robin Thicke should go on tour together. <laughs> Thick is on the mass singer. He's doing just fine. Is he? That's, is he still with Paula? No, 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 no. Is he back dating white women? Uh, I, I want to say she might be mixed, but they are married and have some children. Well, so oh. he's had more kids since Paula. He has two wow. more. I believe. Shout out to just I mean, uh, to Robin Thick. What else you got? I mean, we got to talk about Ryan Garcia. He just. Got banned for one year for taking illegal substances before so the fight. So he was on drugs. He was. So it's confirmed he's banned for an entire year. God. Uh, that saved Devin Haney. It did. it did. Because let me tell you something. After that came out and it was kind of inconclusive of what was going on, and he went on ESPN and he went on his rant kind of saying that he knew there was something a little extra in those punches. Yeah. It made him look bad when they start questioning it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, he shouldn't have said that. He doesn't really know yet. Yeah. So, actually, it's a good look for him that I guess he did turn out to be on drugs. Did they take the money away? That's what That's I'm curious. That's a good question. The so penalty I haven't heard that. was one point. If I'm, whoever knows the right amount, I think it's 1.2 million. That's what okay. it costs him. Oh, uh, okay. In one year. But he's like, I'm retired anyways. It's fine. I'll just come out of retirement in a year. He's also oh, he retired. Yes. Or he could just fight in another country. Okay. Yeah. And then let's conclude the drama drop with Diddy. Latest on him is he scrubbed his Instagram clean. So people are thinking maybe he's going to rebrand. How? What do you mean <laughs> scrub? What do you scrub? Like you took every post off of your Instagram. Oh, gonna he be has zero, zero posts He's going to start Zero posts. Zero. He's, he's starting all over. Starting over. He's so no what's longer going to be? He's going to become a trainer. No, what's he known as Mr. Love? <laughs> Mr. Love. He like formally changed his name Mr. to Love. Lovery. He's going to become a trans MMA fighter. <laughs> Something's coming. <laughs> Something is coming. Predictions. <laughs> I identify as. <laughs> Predictions uh, are is that he should sweep his Instagram and then just leave this country in which that wants to destroy him with all of his money still intact. 
get he the should fuck retire. Out of here. And yeah, exactly. And stop trying to be in the limelight and be Diddy and just go. It's not going to go well. Go to well Bali with it's not gonna Russell. Go, exactly. I think you should definitely not, go away. It's not going to go Russell well for you when you try to come back. He already visited him. Really? Yeah. You don't think it's going to get worse for him? Uh, yeah. If he tries oh, yeah. to come back? Oh, yeah. Like, you yeah. got to go away. Yeah. After what amount does it really not matter how much you have? Uh, I think three, million? I, I think at least three. You got at least three liquid. You, I yeah, mean, you it's, it's yeah. over. Yeah, it's like, nigga, what the fuck? Yeah, hey, you take that shit to, like, Indonesia. You live, like, a king. I don't know. Just buy your own island. Have your own staff. Get your like. But somebody you like real. that loves the American culture and the attention and everything that came with it. So now you're People gonna go live still remotely. Watch his Instagram. Of doing what? We did he bopping on the island? He can still throw. <laughs> you think people aren't gonna come to those parties? He could throw Diddy Island parties and people would come. People are gonna come. Mm. They might not be uh, celebrities and shit, but people are gonna go. He could have fun. Okay. I think people are done with dude, man. I think I think they definitely don't want to associate themselves with Not him anymore. Not one person has spoken out on his behalf. Yeah, I mean, black tough. people, we never really completely turn our backs on people like that. Unless he's like a molester, we understand. You know, so he'll still have some support. But as far as being what he was, it's Didn't over Jay-Z with. Did Jay-Z publicly support him and say that was my brother no matter what They happens. went to high school together. I thought Jay Z spoke out for it. Jay Z, oh. Buster Rhymes, and Biggie Smalls, all and Q Tip, I believe, all went to high school together. That's they went to the same crazy. high school. Crazy, huh? They went to the same high school, but not all at the same well, time. Well, no, like they, 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 so maybe one was a senior, one was one, one was a freshman, but they're all. If you look up their ages, they're all. You know, that's a talented to, yeah. school. Yeah. Yeah. That's a damn good school. I forget the name of the school in Long Island, but it's no, it's like a, it's like a performing arts type of. Is it Laguardia? What Jay Z went to a performing arts school? I mean, look it up, <laughs> look it up. I know Nicki Minaj did, so maybe it was the same school. I'll tell you the name of it right now. Well, my barber went to high school with him. That's how I know. He went, oh, okay. to, high, he went to high school with Buster Rhymes. 